Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been noticing over the past few days that there are all kinds of petitions popping up to ban AR-15 guns. These petitions are taking wings because we've also been noticing a trend in these uh, mass shootings. Uh, they just seem to be just going on every week. As a matter of fact, someone was running a tally and they were saying that within a certain span of time, we've had so many mass shootings that this is unheard of. And, you know, it's getting ridiculous out here. So, of course, I want to know what your thoughts are on putting a ban on AR-15s. But uh, let's go to change.org. This is where one of the petitions are. There are other sites as well uh, that have uh, live uh, running petitions to ban AR-15s. Okay, so basically they're saying this gun is for murdering, not for hunting. When will we stop mass shooters? Ban this gun now. Hunters, gun lovers, we aren't asking to take away your guns. We're asking to ban the AR-15 assault rifle. AR-15 is not necessary to hunt for animals nor protect yourself. AR-15s inflict much more damage to human tissue than the typical handgun. That's largely used because of the speed at which projectiles leave the weapons. They are much faster out of the muzzle of an AR-15 and deliver a more devastating blow to bones and organs. These projectiles are also more likely to break apart as they pass through the body, inflicting more damage. Uh, let me stop right there real quick. Of course, I mean, of course. The way they're describing this, I mean, to me, if you're using any gun against a person, you're not just trying to damage tissue, you're trying to put, put someone um, out of their misery. You're trying to take someone out. I mean, if you're using any gun, whether it's an AR-15 or just a handgun, of course, these cause more damage. But all guns are meant to cause damage and in life. You know, that's just the way I look at it. Anyway, let's keep on going. It says when the higher muzzle velocity projectiles strike an organ, you're more likely to have severe injury and bleeding. Dying is more likely with this style weapon uh, than with lower muzzle velocity munitions. This is why so many mass shooters are using this weapon. They can murder more innocent victims at once. Ban these weapons now. Okay, so I want to know what your thoughts are on putting a ban on AR-15s. Now, some of the language of what they were saying uh, in the uh, petition, um, I felt like it was unnecessary because just about any gun that you're using, there is an intent to, to end life, okay? Um, regardless to how uh, severe the damage is, dead is dead, right? But with these particular guns, I do see that there is a huge problem. Um, we may not all agree on these particular issues, but I feel like there is an agenda at work here. I don't believe that you will ever be able to get these fully off the streets unless you just do some of do like some of these other countries uh, did, and they did like a full on sweep, and they made they attached penalties to not relinquishing them. But get this, it amazes me how uh, criminals in some cases they managed to get these things. But there's a lot of speculation on how they're getting them as well. Um, there have been those who have said that they have seen people in official capacity uh, dropping off certain weapons in the hood, if you know what I mean. Uh, boxes of weapons. Just kind of, kind of like how the drugs got into uh, certain communities as well. Uh, you got to understand that this stuff is not just happening by mistake. There is a system working and there is an agenda at work as well. So putting the ban on AR-15s, I do, I do question why um, ordinary citizens would want such weapons. I mean, listen, many of us do have things to protect ourselves as that is our right to do so. That is our right to do so. Um, but I do have concerns, just like a lot of people have concerns on these guns ending up in the hands of people who want to go in and do damage to innocent folk. Going up in churches, going up in schools, going up in places of businesses, grocery stores, just anywhere, just into crowds even. You see, I don't know if I can say that they have enough checks and balances in place with the issuing of these weapons. 
And of course, you do have people that own these weapons um, who are in an official capacity. Uh, there was one video put out, which I might talk about this individually, uh, where these officials were talking about taking out just black folk. And so there are different mindsets that own these guns. You have people with uh, racial mindsets. You have people with just um, random mindsets, people with wicked mindsets, people who want to retaliate on someone like the guy who wanted to uh, end the doctor who he felt didn't help him with his back injuries. I mean, just so many things. And people are just snapping because they're on demon time as well. And so I can see and understand why these petitions are out there because they feel like there is not enough being done to protect people because even when you have officials who are using their weapons to take out innocent people or people who they don't like because of the color of their skin or you have people just going into places uh, because they don't like uh, the, the people there or they're angry at someone. Uh, the, the man who went into the store, he specifically looked and hunted for black people. So that is the problem that we are having. We have people who are unhinged People who are hateful, people are who are filled with demons, all these kinds of different spirits who own these weapons. It's not just people who say, look, I want to protect my family. It's not just to protect your family people out here who own these weapons. It's people with clouded vision as well. And they are willing to end life. So I can definitely see and understand why the petitions exist. But it doesn't mean that I necessarily agree with it. I'm kind of on the fence about this one, y'all. In all honesty, I'm kind of on the fence about whether these should be banned. I'm on the fence, y'all. So that means I could see why people want them banned. And on the other hand, I could see those who want to truly protect their family with all the force required when the crap completely hits the fan you know what i'm saying meaning look i got some stuff that's gonna keep you off my property right i understand people who think like that because there's some nonsense happening in this world right now so i understand both sides that's why i say i'm on the fence i don't know where i stand with this but i am curious to know if any of you have made your choice or your decision on what you think do you think there should be a ban on ar-15 guns I want you to drop your comments below. State your business and keep it moving. Keep it tight. Keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.